Hi guys, today's topic is about how you attack the ball in the right way and how you actually can manage to get it more into the ball ground position. I'm getting a huge heart attack and goosebumps once I, I listen to golfers on the course when they hit the shot and they comment the shot and say, well, now I didn't get underneath the ball. You actually never, ever want to get underneath the ball. You know, some of you might say, yeah, I know that. But so many golfers, they still think and have the picture they really want to get the club face just underneath the ball and scoop the ball up. But that is certainly not working well. If, because if you think about it, I know golf is very complicated, right? But if you really want to get it right underneath that ball and scoop it away, this is, it's actually impossible and it's also not correct. What you want to do, you want to compress the ball from up, down. You want to hit the ball as long as it's grounded, never if it's teed up high, of course. You want to hit it on the movement down towards the ground how you can practice that. I mean, you know, there are, there are many ways to think it, but for me, it was always um, a thought of covering the ball and really keep the club low. I call it the low finish. Um, there are golfers here, they, you know, they, they say, I want to have a nice high finish. And where I say, yeah, you can have a nice high finish, but that you do with the driver if you want to hit it high, right? Because how you finish the shot, mostly that's how the ball flight's going to be. But finally, you want to actually hit down onto the ball and stay low and get that low finish going. I'm just going to demonstrate that to you. So this is also why we have the hands forward because we want to stay on the movement down towards the ball, right? So I'm just going to demonstrate you that low finish. So I want to stay low. You saw, you, you saw how my hands were here, how my body is still covered down there. So this is how I can practice really to hit down onto the ball. You see my divot, it's kind of steep because I normally don't have an issue hitting down onto the ball. But if I really try to force it, then of course the divot goes a little bit deeper. But finally, this is how you can practice it, to really to stay low, to keep the club low. Also, a very good way to practice it is to, to be on a downhill slope and just imagine how you hit down the slope. You know, you don't want to hit up a slope just with the driver. Everything when the ball or any time when the ball is on the ground, you want to hit down onto the ball. It's called the low finish. This has been a really quick tip for you guys, but you know, and I, I mean, there are not a lot of golfers, they're aware that you have to, hit, have to hit down onto the ball, but there are many, many golfers who are not aware of this. So maybe this helps you get you to another level again and practice that low finish for once. Let me know how you're doing. And then if you like that content, just put a thumbs up, subscribe this channel. And if you wanna know more about me, just Follow me on my Instagram channel. Now I wish you good luck, have fun practicing, and I'll see you soon.